Memory is a fundamental cognitive process that allows us to store, retain and retrieve information. It is essential for learning, reasoning, problem solving and overall human experience. Without memory, we would be unable to recognize faces, recall past events or even form a sense of self. Cognitive psychology explores the complexities of memory, investigating how information is encoded, stored and retrieved by the human mind. This field of study delves into the different types of memory, the factors that influence memory performance, and the various ways in which memory can be impaired. Understanding memory is crucial for comprehending human behavior, thought processes, and the very essence of what it means to be human. By unraveling the mysteries of memory, we gain insights into the workings of our own minds and the minds of others. This video will explore the fascinating world of memory, examining its different types, the processes involved in memory formation and retrieval, and the contributions of key figures in memory research. Memory is a complex system with multiple stages. The three main stages are sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sensory memory holds vast amounts of sensory information for a very brief period. Short-term memory holds information for around 20 to 30 seconds. Long-term memory is the relatively permanent and limitless storehouse of information. Encoding is the process of transforming sensory information into a form that can be stored in memory. It involves converting external stimuli into neural codes that the brain can process and retain. Effective encoding is crucial for later retrieval, as information that is not encoded properly is unlikely to be remembered. There are different levels of processing involved in encoding, ranging from shallow to deep. Shallow processing focuses on superficial features of information, such as the physical appearance of words or the sound of a voice. Deep processing, on the other hand, involves elaborative rehearsal, connecting new information to existing knowledge and forming meaningful associations. The more deeply information is processed, the more likely it is to be encoded and stored in long-term memory. For example, if you are trying to remember a new vocabulary word, simply repeating the word to yourself, which is shallow processing, is less effective than creating a sentence using the word or relating it to a personal experience, which is deep processing. Retrieval is the process of accessing and bringing to mind previously encoded and stored information. It is the ability to recall memories from long-term storage and bring them into conscious awareness. Retrieval is essential for using our past experiences to guide our present actions and make informed decisions. Retrieval cues play a crucial role in facilitating memory retrieval. These cues can be internal, such as our current mood or thoughts, or external, such as the environment in which we learned the information. The more cues that are available and the more closely they match the original learning context, the more likely we are to retrieve the desired memory. Retrieval is not always accurate, and memories can be influenced by a variety of factors, including our prior knowledge, our beliefs, and our expectations. These factors can lead to memory distortions, where we remember events differently from how they actually occurred or even create false memories of events that never happened. Forgetting when memories fade. Forgetting is the inability to retrieve information that was previously encoded and stored in memory. It is a natural and often adaptive process that helps us to prioritize important information and avoid mental clutter. However, forgetting can also be frustrating and debilitating, especially when it involves memories that are personally meaningful or essential for daily functioning. There are several theories that attempt to explain why we forget. One theory, known as decay theory, proposes that memories fade over time due to the gradual weakening of neural connections. Another theory, interference theory, suggests that forgetting occurs because other memories interfere with the retrieval of the target memory. Proactive interference occurs when previously learned information interferes with the recall of new information, while retroactive interference occurs when newly learned information interferes with the recall of old information. For example, if you are trying to remember a new phone number, your old phone number may interfere with your ability to recall the new one, proactive interference. Memory distortions, the fallibility of recall. Memory is not a perfect recording device, and our memories are susceptible to distortions and inaccuracies. Memory distortions can occur at any stage of the memory process, from encoding to retrieval. 
Several factors can contribute to memory distortions, including our prior knowledge, our beliefs, our expectations and our imagination. One common type of memory distortion is known as the misinformation effect. This effect occurs when our memories of an event are altered by exposure to misleading information after the event. For example, if we witness a car accident and later hear someone describe the car as going faster than it actually was, we may incorporate this misinformation into our memory of the event. Another type of memory distortion is known as source monitoring errors. These errors occur when we have difficulty remembering the source of a memory. For example, we may remember hearing a piece of gossip but forget who told us, or we may misattribute a dream to a real-life event. Pioneers of Memory Research The field of memory research has been shaped by pioneering psychologists dedicated to unraveling the complexities of the human mind. They developed innovative methods, proposed influential theories, and conducted groundbreaking experiments. Daniel L. Schachter is known for his work on the seven sins of memory. His book explores how memory can fail us, from forgetting over time to incorporating misleading information. Elizabeth Loftus has made significant contributions to our understanding of eyewitness testimony and memory malleability. The importance of understanding memory. Understanding memory is crucial for navigating our daily lives and maintaining our sense of self. Memory allows us to learn from our past, predict future outcomes, and form meaningful relationships. It is essential for personal growth, professional success, and overall well-being. In our personal lives, memory helps us cherish moments, recall life lessons, and maintain continuity. It enables us to learn new skills and develop our talents. In the professional realm, memory is essential for success in countless fields. In conclusion, memory shapes our thoughts, behaviors, and identities. By understanding memory, we gain insights into our minds and the minds of others.